Some of you guys might remember from a while back, we did a torture test on a 30 round Magpul P Mag. And the PMAG held up extremely well, and for a long time, the, the Magpul PMAGs have kind of been, largely anyways, the industry standard for polymer AR-15 magazines. And then Daniel Defense came along, and one of our followers, Jesse Taylor, actually asked us to get a Daniel Defense magazine or two and run them through a similar torture test. I expect high performance out of this magazine. We're gonna kind of stage this torture test similar to the PMAG video that we shot last summer. We're gonna start off with a little bit less abusive punishment, throw it in the gun after each phase of testing, and then see if we can't push this thing to the point of failure. But here I have loaded up the Daniel Defense 32 round polymer magazine. This is a carbon fiber reinforced polymer magazine. So I expect the carbon fiber reinforcement to add quite a bit of durability, but we're gonna see how far we can push this thing. So we got the Hot Rod AR-15 pistol loaded up, targets are set up downrange. Let's go ahead and get to work. Dropping the magazine into some dirt, kind of kicking it around in rocks and filling it full of sand and gravel and junk. The follower got really sticky as I was continuing to load the magazine, threw it in the gun. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to cycle, but we got all 32 rounds to come out and still got the bolt to lock open. So I would say that test was successful. We threw the magazine roughly 30 yards. It was fully loaded, 32 rounds. When it hit the ground, it managed to kick out a couple of rounds. The top two bullets actually came out, and it actually developed a very small, almost unnoticeable hairline crack on the back of the feed lips towards the spine of the magazine, very similar to what the Magpul did when we threw it roughly 30 or 40 yards fully loaded. And I did notice that the Daniel Defense got hard to seat into the gun at that point in time, even though the feed lips weren't noticeably widened up, but it was a little bit uh, tougher to get the magazine to slide into the mag well of the gun and also ejecting the magazine. It doesn't do that by itself anymore. It just sort of drops partially out of the gun. You have to remove it manually from the gun. But even with that crack in the back of the magazine, we're still cycling 32 rounds and we're still getting bolts locked open. I have my doubts going into the crush test, especially after we threw the magazine and it managed to crack on that rear spine. You know, I thought running it over might cause the gap to widen or it might cause that crack to go you know move farther down the spine of the magazine but we loaded the thing up 32 rounds drove over it a couple of times slapped it in the gun and it's running just like a champ so i'm happy to see that that crack hasn't gotten any worse even after crushing it with a couple thousand pounds of mini cooper the last stage of the test we shot the daniel defense magazine three times the first round went through the back portion of the magazine missing the spring second round went right through the center of the magazine again missing the spring and then the third round right through the center of the magazine we actually busted the spring blew it out the back which reduced our capacity to a 20 round magazine all in all the magazine still functions it still locks the bolt open and actually it started to drop free from the gun again even regardless of that crack on the rear spine there that we managed to put into the magazine right away when we were throwing the thing down the road behind me uh, so money well spent. I mean, it's 20 bucks. Is it any better than a PMAG? I don't really know. But all in all, I would say that the Daniel Defense 32 round magazines are certainly a viable option for somebody looking for a polymer magazine for the Air 15. I trust my life to Pitbull Tactical because it stands up to the demands that I need as a concealed carry citizen, as a firearms instructor, and as a gun and gear reviewer. The adjustment, the versatility, it's, it's all there. I mean, the, the capabilities that you can do with one holster and the variety of configurations you can get out of just one simple holster, one rig, it's money well spent. You're not going to find it anywhere else. When the pressure's on and demands are high, make sure you're set up to stay in the fight. For my needs, I think that the biggest selling point for the Daniel Defense Magazine is the traction on the outside. It's almost stippled, is what it feels like. It's very comparable to that of a Gen 4 Glock or an FN series handgun. You know, very, very stippled, very textured, but it's low profile. There's nothing that's going to drag on any mag pouches or anything like that. It's going to fit in your Gear for Grunts ramps. It's going to fit in your Velcro pouches, your taco pouches, all that stuff. Another external thing that I appreciate about the Daniel Defense magazine is they're holding 32 rounds in the same magazine size as what Magpul takes to hold 30 rounds. Now, for me, I don't see those two extra rounds being something that I need for my uses of these magazines. 
but if that's what you're looking for and you want to keep a little bit lower profile, the Daniel Defense Mag is a great way to go. Looking at the contouring of the base plate here, it's actually contoured so that when it's seated in the gun and you're in a prone position or shooting off a bench, there's a flat spot on the magazine and very similar kind of conceptually to like a mag pod. You know, it's supposed to give you a little bit easier or a little bit more positive surface of contact for shooting prone or shooting off of a bench. You know, granted this still is a hard surface, so if you put it on a shooting bench it might slip around on you a little bit. But I like that they tried to incorporate some of that ingenuity and give you a little bit more enhanced stability with just your run-of-the-mill magazine. No upgrades, no accessories needed. We appreciate you guys watching. What I'd like to ask of you is that you go down below in the comment section and let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see happen to this magazine. Should we take it out and shoot it with a shotgun? Should we set it near some tannerite? You know, I mean, how ridiculous do you want to see us get with this magazine and find that ultimate point of failure, whether that's the thing is just disintegrated or the thing physically cannot function anymore? Leave a comment below with what you want us to do with this magazine. If we can't come up with anything, maybe we'll just throw it in one of the monthly subscriber giveaway packages and you get a free... 20 round Daniel Defense magazine. We appreciate you guys watching. This video was done, like I mentioned before, by viewer requests. We really appreciate the request. If there's anything you guys want to see us do, test out any training techniques, leave them in a the comment below. We appreciate you all watching. We'll see you next time, and we never quit.